Hello, this is Beyond here. It's been a while. Tennessee Contract Zero is finally coming to the global. Oh boy, can't wait to lose more sanity. But yeah, we have a lot of exciting news that are coming up. A bunch of limited materials and LMD rewards that we can get from exchanging by doing daily and the permanent map. Old training maps will be unlocked to put your sanity to the real test. And they are also implement a new feature recruitment for those who have still yet to get Indra and Vulcan. Now's your chance. You'll need 300 recruitment for one voucher and 1000 for the other. Note that the reward will only count after the patch has been implemented. Be sure to start saving your recruitment tickets now. Oh my god! <laughs> new limited operators Babiak will be obtainable from CC events. Be sure not to miss it. Finally, let's get into the real shit. Kinesi Contract Operations Verland will be com coming mid-September. I have prepared a simple infographics guide to help everyone to get ready with your team. Note, please watch this as a reference. These are mostly based on statistic research and my own experience about the game. Nothing is absolute here. Okay. If you're pushing for all the rewards, I would recommend an average of Elite 2 level 40. And if you see an icon of the CC logo, that means they're recommended for CC specifically. Highly recommend in general are often overwhelming OP skills and talent that are highly valued for majority of the maps. And priority of individual skills that I recommend and ideal to push if you have the extra materials to do so. For example, the each individual stars besides the mastery skills are highly valuable that are worth investing. And of course, you have your each individual operator's rarity. I'll be explaining in different categories on their specific purposes and why you want to use them. Siege, often used in every stages of the game. People usually consider her as a guard, that are vanguards. High AoE damage from her S2 skill can regenerate SP, generate more damage and DP. S3 skills are used in more specific situations where you need that CC and burst damage early on. Extra attack buff and defense buff for all allies vanguards are always good. If you have her, invest more on her levels first, then her skills later on. Because you want that extra stats to make sure she stays alive to be able to provide more DP before you set up the rest of your team. Texas, solid DP regen, vanguards that has R damage and crowd control. Gain extra initial D2 DP from start. If you are struggling on DP start, you can use it to stun as many targets as you want as long as it's in the range of her skill. Overall, very solid DP vanguards, might be a little bit squishy, but the crowd control can complement that. Zyma, a more of a support vanguards that are often ignored or forgotten by a lot of whales. She can be insanely strong if you are going to use more than 2 vanguards. Her talent provides 3 minus 1 DP on all vanguards, provide a lot of buffs and DP for your team. And she has the highest defense out of all the vanguards. If you see the opportunity to use her, use it. Myrtle, basically a must have, especially for those who want to push for high risk on this contract. Basically a living DP generator. Zero block mechanics to avoid getting hit, provide passive HP regenerations for all vanguards, and also provide healing. You can have an insane combination combos with bagpipe, instant surrender, uh, you know, you just use your S1 skill instantly. Very easy to obtain, very cheap. You can never go wrong with any stage with her. Backpipe. The upcoming OP vanguards that you definitely don't want to miss. Initial DP's SP gain for all allies vanguards. One of the most broken skill in the game. Third skill increases block plus one and self buff with increases attack interval. It opens up 
some of the best aggressive combo openings you can have in the game. Igna, a free to play alternative of Bagpipe if you just want pure damage in general. Just like Bagpipe, it has great early damage, but without the pure stats and SP gain. Rank 7 on her skill is more than enough, M3 is a little bit overkill, and she's pretty easy to obtain. Hellinger, your perfect 1v1 bruiser that are able to sustain bosses in most difficult situations. Hunter attack speed buff with below 30% HP combined with her hit. Combined with his traits, lifesteal, and on top of that, S2 skill provides 75% physical evasions with the duration. Perfect to fight against elite mobs and boss enemies. Even though it's a little bit high for cost, it's definitely worth it. Scotty, very similar to Halliger. Perfect for 1v1. The greatest part about Scotty is her pure attack and HP stats. Her S2 auto activations when deploy combined with low cost, fast redeploy timer, is able to deal with multiple difficult situations, like for example, caster enemies. Another great combo I like to use is to have Spectre on your team, that way you can buff her with your talent to gain maximum value. Silver Ash, the face of guard, has the most broken skill in the game, defies everything. Big damage, check, large AoE, check, hit air, check, true sight, check, self attack buff plus all operators, redeployments, cooldown reduced, check, <laughs> skill duration that lasts up to 30 seconds. There's nothing else you really need um, for him besides nerfing him. <laughs> so yeah. Chen, one of the top waifu dragon girl that all doctors love, providing SP regen on attack including self buff and slight evasion. The S2 has one of the highest bursts for both, physical and art damage, and can be used instantly. Even though S3 loses the art damage, she can delete enemies with ease, and if, you, if by any chance the enemy survive, they'll get, they'll get crowd control by for 4 seconds. Blaze! Just like her name, she will cut enemies into ashes. When it comes to high risk Kinesi contract, the Sage will often last very long. Even though Blaze doesn't have flashy skills like Chen or S2 when activated, it will last infinite durations and extend the Tao by one. Great survivability talent and crowd control resistance. Consistent damage that lasts till the end. S3 skill are used more for burst and hit percentage HP, but it's a luxury to have, so it's not that necessary. Leplan, one of the very few guard that does art damage, can hit multiple targets with her S2, including air targets. She has a unique silence passive that are perfect to deal with annoying enemies like Spider, for example. If platform are limited, you definitely need a ground operator to do art damage at certain stages. Get her, she has a very decisive skills that can impact the game. Sector, the Undying Shark. When used correctly, she's basically the best tank. No enemies can walk past her. Her S2 lasts for 15 seconds, invincibility allows her to take substantial amount of damage than no one could, could in the game. On top of that, with extra HP% percent health and recovery over time. Also, does great amount of AoE physical damage. Very decisive skill again, that you should not ignore. So this is part 1 for the ultimate Kunizi Contract Preparations Guide. This takes uh, quite a bit of time to make. There are more there are more parts coming up. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe and you know leave a comment 
and on what you think. Do you think this guide is helpful? <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.